something new is coming to food labels and you need to be aware it's going to be coming to all food labels in 2022 and it's this right here here it is previous label new label this will take place of the non-gmo project you will no longer see it it's not allowed on the front of a package the difference is, is that the non-gmo product looks at all ingredients and this new um federal re regulation only looks at the first ingredient to let you know if it's bio -engineered. all right so what she's talking about is called the national bioengineered food disclosure standard it is not taking the place of the non-gmo project verified label unfortunately it's also not just based on the first ingredient which i will explain in a little more detail as well all right, so what is the difference between the non-GMO label that you might see on the front of packages uh, versus this new contains bioengineered food ingredients label? The biggest difference is that the non-GMO label is not mandatory. It's a voluntary label that companies pay for to put on the front of their packaging. This bioengineered label is now mandatory for all companies starting January 1st, 2022. The implementation date was January 1st of this year, so you may have started seeing these labels on foods already. Another big difference is that the non-GMO label uses the term GMO, which is not a very scientific term. Uh, the USDA has opted for the bioengineered term, which is a more scientific term. This bioengineered label came about because of organizations like the Non-GMO Project and some other organizations that wanted a federal label that was mandatory disclosing GMOs. However, they're not happy with the fact that the USDA has not chosen to use the term GMO because they have spent a lot of time and money scaring consumers over GMOs rather than actually educating consumers on what it actually means. The other big thing is that the non-GMO label is obviously an exclusionary label, so it can be put on anything that doesn't even really have a GMO counterpart. So I've talked about it being on things like salt, uh, which doesn't even have genes to modify. The bioengineered label is the opposite, where it has to be put on foods that contain bioengineered ingredients, which they defined as containing detectable genetic material that has been modified through certain lab techniques and cannot be created through conventional breeding or found in nature. Here's the list of crops of which bioengineered varieties are commercially available in the U.S. This is from the USDA Agricultural Marketing Service website. A bioengineered food disclosure is a marketing label and does not convey any information about the health, safety, or environmental attributes of bioengineered food as compared to non-bioengineered counterparts. This goes for the non-GMO label as well. It tells you nothing about the health or safety of the food. They are marketing labels. GMO or bioengineered foods are just as safe and at least as nutritious as their non-bioengineered or non-GMO counterparts. Foods that require the disclosure are those that are subject to the labeling requirements of the FDCA. Here's where the first ingredient thing comes in that she was talking about. If a food product is primarily made up of meat or eggs, this disclosure standard doesn't apply because those products don't follow the labeling standards of the FDCA, but rather these acts instead. Ask your